Hi everybody, I just wanted to give a quick update on the Spring Boot GraphQL Kickstarter library. So previously I had published a 35 part series on the library and framework. And officially from now, the project has been archived, which means that it no longer will receive any like security updates, dependency updates, feature requests, active you know engagement in terms of issues or problems or like the, the future of the project or the direction it'll go it's officially all stopped and that's because the official spring for graphql library has has got a lot of traction it's been adopted and it's it's really progressing and there's no point in actively maintaining the spring boot kickstarter library as well so it's been deprecated in favor of the official library. And from my perspective, that's actually quite a positive development when you look at the holistic uh, GraphQL Java landscape, as it really allows all of the developers or a lot of us to come together to, with one framework. Well, I know there's, DG, there's, there's the Netflix alternative uh, domain graph service, but it allows us really to focus on the official single uh, spring a GraphQL service and you know if, if everyone comes together with that then I think it has a more of a, a, a brighter future as well. Now of course there's lots of projects that have been wrote in uh, Kickstarter so there's gonna have to be a migration phase for, for all of you guys projects out there that are especially in production you're really gonna have to take time um, in your backlog to really fight that technical debt and migrate the, the server um, from Kickstarter to the official GraphQL library. Um, or else, if you really want, then you can fork the library and um, maintain it yourself. But of course, I, I would highly recommend uh, not doing that if possible. And the last thing I wanted to say is big thanks to um, Ollie for all of the, the pull requests, all the support, the development, everything going on in the, the Kickstarter library. Because if it wasn't for you, then it wouldn't, this library just simply wouldn't have been possible over the last uh, seven years. So again, thank you very much. And that's from behalf of me and everybody who's actually used the library and is involved in the community. So if you have any questions or concerns about migration, or how you can do that or anything, then you can email me or contact me or in the comments or, or whatever. And if you've got this far and you're watching to the end, instead of watching my old course, 35 part series in GraphQL Kickstarter, I recommend that you watch my um, Spring for GraphQL um, video. I think it's part like 36. And it's when I start to talk about the new official framework and how you can get started on that and a first look at the, the core features of that. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.